Hi friends, it's Nirmal from Nandanam Exotics and I welcome you all to this episode. We'll be looking at my succulent terrarium today. I've been meaning to show you guys this one. So, hope you enjoy the video. So guys, whoever is watching my channel or videos for the first time, do consider subscribing to the channel. Also press the bell notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. In this video, I'll be showcasing my succulent and cactus terrarium that I set up few months back. It also features a DIY Arabian style castle or palace I made from MC which you guys are seeing right now. It's a pretty simple design. I have not used a lot of plants in the setup. This is mainly because my climate is not very conducive uh, for growing succulents or cactus inside closed containers. So I limited the number of plants I used in this setup. Now friends, let's take a look at how I water this system. In my climate, which is very humid, I only water them once every two months. Since I only water them once in two months, I do it very heavily whenever I do water it and completely soak the medium to the bottom. I have also provided a false bottom where the extra water can go and reside. If any of you are not familiar with the terms like false bottom etc, you can check out my other terrarium making videos where I explain in detail what all other components a terrarium requires. So I do not keep my cactus terrarium indoors, I keep it along with other cactus and succulents in the terrace garden where they are exposed to full sun and also I do not close the lid as well so that there is ample amount of air circulation inside it. Just for the purpose of this video, I took it inside and gave it artificial light so that I can take a good video of it. So if you are planning to place the setup indoors, you should make sure that you give artificial or natural light as much as possible because cactus or succulents can easily etiolate under low light conditions. This is the fantastic display of water droplets on the spine once you fog or mist your cacti. It also shows you how they collect water in the wild when they are in nature. The morning fog brings in a lot of droplets of water in the air and the thorns or the spines collect it just like you see it right now. When you are setting a succulent terrarium, the most important thing you should keep in mind is a good medium or the composition of the medium. Here you can see I have layered my medium into different layers where the darkest layer you see in the middle is having some amount of compost and normal soil for feeding the growth of the plant while the rest of the layers are just gravel in different grades and sizes to promote uh, easy passage of water to the bottom. Last but not the least, always choose a group of plants that are similar in growing style as well as requirements uh, so that you can keep the system going for a considerable amount of time. So friends, if you can follow some of these simple rules, you can also have a beautiful desert landscape inside your house or in your garden. So friends, that was the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, do subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a like and comment if you have something to say about it. Also, uh, do check out other videos as well. Until next time, it's Nirmal signing off.